All right, and hey there, Prize Gaming Crew, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon XD Gale Darkness Let's Play. And if you guys missed out during the last one, we went and continued to run out of time with some more of the Snagum Hideout. And not only that, but we did get to go and head back to the previous other different uh, Pokey spots because if you guys do recall, we still have to go and chase on after that Bonsley because the last time that we went and met up with Bonsley was back over at the SS Libra. And now I'm pretty certain that by this time, I don't know if we are going to be probably seeing like another little spot where Bosley is going to be kind of uh, seeing around here maybe within the Snagum hideout or not but I know that for now I think we have to go and check through the different spots uh, within those pokey spots to hopefully at least try to figure out where that Bosley is going to be so that we can unlock ourselves with a brand new battle bingo that is going to happen within the real game tower but however I did do a little bit of some switching around I did go and move uh, I think Caitlyn back over into the back of our team and added Togepi into the front so that we could try to well at least try to get the hard gates to be lowered uh, little by little uh, because I think for right now I think Togepi is gonna be kind of one of the hardest of the Pokemon that is gonna be shadow related to get the heart gauge to be dropped at this point but we do have Marlin here at level 35 not gonna go into too much details with the different moves that we do have but we'll go here to Togepi though however at level 25 uh, yeah so far the heart gauge has not even moved at all within the slightest so uh, we still need to kind of go and still try to drop it uh, within the first of the of the parts of the of the heart gauge that's going on for right there but we do have Shugga though at level 25 our dawn fan now which that is really cool which uh we didn't really get to go and use too much uh during the last one but hopefully we can try to do that uh hopefully soon with the maybe in this episode if anything does happen here but we do have a Kami at level 28 does have heat wave confused ray all that different stuff so nothing has really changed from there we do have triple h though however at level 27 still has the same exact moves and i'm pretty sure that everything should be fine but oh right and yes also too we can't forget about the last pokemon that's on our team is caitlin at level 23 and still has the same moves and everything is fine from there so i believe right now in the snagum hideout is that i think we made it into the second of the floors that is happening here and uh every time whenever i see this guy it feels like uh, he's always gonna go and like try to challenge me or something like that but we but that already happened from before so we don't even have to go and even worry about that but let's just go again so it's just another full quick heal just in case because you never know it's always uh, it's always good to be safe you know because you never know what's gonna probably happen whenever anything uh goes on here within this game but i know that we just went about out with this guy though however and i think there's gonna be quite a few other different paths that we can kind of go and choose from i think we're gonna go through this one here and see if there is anything seems like there is gonna be some step uh, yeah there is gonna be some steps down there but for right now i think we're just gonna kind of head down through this part see what's gonna happen up through this way because maybe i could probably at least find an item up here oh no we got ourselves a movable team snagum grunt i don't know how we're gonna kind of get away from this guy but you know what it's always good to go and probably challenge out one of these guys because you're probably never gonna be able to go and battle them again so let's go and do it right here right now so how's it going dude first snagum grunt for this episode once more so let's go and see what he's got to offer out here while we are going through the team snagum hobble uh hope you guys do go and check out on the dark cloud 2 let's play we are of course going to be going and jumping into our next and up and coming uh guardian that is going to be happening there for our time to get ourselves with the wind gem out of all things so hope we can at least try to pick it up and there we go hopefully that can try to lower a little bit more wow that is still going to be taking a really 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 long time man Okay, well, you know what? We do have a bite. Hopefully that does enough. Uh, we'll go switch around with Mons out here. Uh, we'll bring out with... Let's bring out with Triple H. Yeah. I think Triple H should be a little bit better out here. Because that is a Smurgle, right? And uh, to be honest with you, Smurgle can be a little bit crazy sometimes with just that sketch move. So we have to be a little bit careful for when that happens. But if you guys do recall, back over in our uh, Battle Revolution uh, Let's Play series that happened a while ago... That Smurgle was pretty crazy. Smurgle came prepared with like sheer cold and some other wild moves that I don't even think it could even like even learn something like that, which that's pretty crazy for me. Uh, but here we go. So let's go and uh, finally get to use Flamethrower. And this is going to be our time where we can finally get ourselves the Nine Tails within this episode for today. So this is going to be really nice. Finally, we got ourselves with the learned move of Flamethrower. And now we can finally be able to. Uh, not even have to even worry about ever having to use a Volt Picks anymore. So there we go. Finally got ourselves with Flamethrower. Triple H now got that 138 EXP right there. But we do have a developer though, however. And things are going to get a little bit crazy. Because of course we don't really have Sean at the moment. So we kind of have to try to figure out on a different other type of plan. So 
We'll have to go for probably Bite on Pelipper here. We'll have to go for Brick Break on the Smurgle. And uh, let's just see what we can do. Hopefully, we can get a flinch off or something from that Pelipper so that it doesn't have to go for anything crazy related. But there you go. Triple H is coming in with the Brick Break and knocks out the Smurgle once and for all. So, see you later, buddy. It's kind of interesting because I think, like, Smurgle can, like, change his paint color around, right? Like, every time that you catch him one, because, like... Because, like, we just saw, like, there was a Smurgle with a red uh, red type of paint tail. But I know that there's a Smurgle with a green one as well. I, I can't swear that, that I've seen something like that from before. Uh, but let's see. Uh, there is a Machoke. Don't know what we're going to do for this one, though, however. We could probably switch into... Uh, well, no, I don't really want to go into Chugga because we don't really want to get ourselves super affected out here. Uh, we'll probably have to go and switch over to Caitlyn, maybe. Because we do have at least some sort of psychic type move, but again, confusion doesn't really do a lot. So we'll have to go and see what's going to happen from here. This should go and knock out the Pelipper once and for all, so we don't ever have to go and worry about with that. So that's good. And I don't know if I ever went and ever told you guys this yet, but I did go and buy out some uh, brand new 3DS games. Uh, I just got myself with uh, Kirby uh, Extra Epic Yarn. Uh, for my 3DS, which that was pretty cool. And uh, I did get myself a brand new uh, ex accessory type of thing for the 3DS, which I didn't even know that it even existed before. I know that a few of my friends have actually went and uh, talked to me about this because they actually have some sort of item like this before. And it's actually known as the Circle Pad Pro. Apparently, it was one of the most uh, botched type of things that ever happened with the, the 3DS. It was basically supposed to be like a thing where you would actually have like an extra thumbstick for your 3DS, which apparently it didn't really work all that too well and uh it was got a little bit of some negative reviews but however i'm gonna go and try it out for myself and uh see how well that that could actually be uh with the, my 3ds capture card because i wouldn't mind actually trying that out but uh let me know if you guys do have something like that like the circle pad pro and let me know what your experiences uh with that is all about I know that I do have the Kid Icarus accessory for the stand though, which uh, apparently from what I've heard is that it's one of the best things to have for the 3DS so that you don't have to go and worry about trying to like uh, find a way to adjust it. You can just literally just have the stand right there and you can just place it right at the exact spot that you want it to. All right, but there you go. Man, Hobble's already down and finished with, and that's all good. And I think I also went and uh, got myself with like uh, Superstar Saga, Yoshi and Poochie's Woolly World, uh, bought a few other different 3DS games as well too. But yeah, I still need to go and try out with uh, Legends of Legacy though at some point on the channel, which that would be really fun because I do have that in box and uh, I don't know if I kind of want to break it open yet. I kind of still want to kind of hold it off for a little bit. Oh no. Oh geez. Okay, at first I thought that guy was going to spot me there for a second, but at least we now know that there is a... Uh, that there is another movable one of those trainers out there but i know that there are some steps down below down here right and i don't really want to go and uh, forget about where this place is going to be because there could probably be another item that would be uh somewhat pretty nice for me now um i don't know uh, if you guys watched the mario 3d world co-op uh, episode uh, but if you guys do hear that the sound was like a little bit kind of weird like uh, during throughout that episode it's just because i was trying out like a new functionality uh, known as the omnidirectional mode uh where it would be able for you to kind of go and hear everything that goes not from just the front of my direction but everywhere else outside because i know that uh I think for a little while, I, I don't know if you guys would be able to go and hear Kevin uh, during, uh, through most of the different other series that we have done together in the past, but I wanted to try out the omnidirectional mode to see if it can actually kind of pick up uh, things a little bit better, but I don't think so. I think I'm going to kind of probably just stick around with just having the cardioid mode instead because I think that will be the much far better option for me, and I totally forgot about one thing, and that was actually supposed to be getting myself a Nine Tails out here, and I just went and jumped right into a battle instead. I'll make sure about me doing that right after this. Okay, so let's go for a bite. Uh, we'll set that up on the Crowback because we want to make sure that this guy's going to be gone once and for all. Uh, we will have to go and switch out into... Uh, you know what? Let's try old Kami. Let's go and try out that brand new uh, type of uh, flamethrower that's going to happen with their, with their move that's going on. Because at least the good thing is now is that since we do have that TF for uh, flamethrower the last time, we will go and give that over to a Togetic. Wow, that Crobat did some pretty crazy acrobatics right there. Alright, there you go. Yeah, let's set that up. 
Hopefully that can... Wow, that actually brought it down quite a bit. I have to say, Crobat looks so huge in this game. Is that how Crobat is supposed to look like in this? Like, like, like in... Like, in the actual aspect of how Crobat is supposed to be for a size? Because, like, that's huge. But, like... I don't even... Like, it seems like Zubat's, like, super small. But then when you go and look at Crobat, this man is, like, super large. That's crazy. Huh. I would never expect something like that. Because, like, normally I thought, like, a bat would probably be, like... Like, not that huge, but geez, Crobat's insane. It's like, the, it's like that Crobat's larger than the Team Snake Ogre himself. Like, oh my god. Well, I know that, like, uh, later on when we go and meet up with Snorlax, I, I know that that Snorlax is going to be much larger than, than what this Crobat design is supposed to be like. Okay, right, but here we go. We got ourselves with Torkoal. Okay, well, we know exactly what we're going to do out here. We have water gun for this, so let's go set that up. And we'll go for a... Well, I, I don't even know what this man's going to have. Like, Well, I don't even think like Flash Fire was even a, a thing here in this game yet. So I guess we could probably go for a heat wave or something. Could be wrong. Flash Fire could probably be like Generation 4. Normally, the only thing that I would only know about Flash Fire was that it was from... Uh, a chandelier and I'm pretty sure or chandelier I should say not chandelier chandelier I can't believe that are you serious I got myself flinched I could have went and just been able to uh something okay well there you go that's not too bad we're always about to get ourselves into a uh, another level up here for level 30 wow you know this would be a perfect opportunity for me to go and have a night tails to be able to go and use for this battle because there was like a lot of easy things out here for okami to do um let's just go for water gun and set for a way door knock out the balots and once and for all we we'll get it done great go do your thing marlin you should be able to knock out that torque with no problem there go nice torque is out of here man nice at level 30 finally Got another Pokemon that's finally going to be in the level 30 margin. Yeah, once we get Shardom back on the team, that will be our other up and coming level 30 mod. Because having an Ampharos is not actually all that too bad. Cut? Oh, man. Well, again, Cut's not going to really do anything, so that's fine with me. Okay, so let's just go for a quick attack there and go for a Confused Ray. I'm pretty sure that if I go for a quick attack, this should be able to just knock out the loss right there. Yeah, no problem already gone to fish with and that is really nice wow 766 even with the exp share going on within that that's crazy yeah i think we're gonna hand on over that exp share and do a little bit of a switch around so uh let's go and do something here oh i get it now you're on that ss liberal when i went to get that snake machine hey it was biden oh and speaking about with that our spot monitor is tingling so let's go and uh Make a beeline, shall we? And start heading on over to uh, where that uh, to where that is going to be. Because hopefully he doesn't run away. Because I know that Bosley is the type of Pokemon that can like just up and leave as faster than ever. So I'm going to be quick on your toes about with this. And hopefully I can find out where this is. Oh, come on. Go, 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 go. Move. Oh, please don't tell me I'm going to go in the wrong direction. Because I don't know exactly where I am going right now. Because I'm pretty sure that this is... Uh, this should kind of leave me... Oh, there we go. Here's the exit way. Thank you. All right. Go, go, go. Move. Please. Stay there, you annoying Pokemon. Whatever you do, you are not moving out of there. Out of that spot yet. Okay, let's go to Rock Spot. I'm going to assume that Bosley should be here. I hope. And... Oh! Well, here you go. This is actually a much better Pokemon to go and find out here in the uh, in the wild. Got ourselves a Trap Inch out of all Pokemon too. Wow. This is going to be really fun. Uh, now, speaking of which, I know that I have got a, uh, a Trap Inch before on our team. And we did have Dernamere back in the day of the Pokemon XD uh, original series. And you know what? If I go and catch up with this Trap Inch, let's see if I can be able to do it. And just like that, Trapfish was caught. And if you guys do recall, if uh, we go and show any of these, uh, well, specialized Pokemon to, I think, to Duking, I think something is going to happen from here. So, uh, you know exactly who I'm going to be naming this after. 
Now, if you guys have ever played Skyrim before, you guys are going to probably know who exactly I'm going to be naming this after. Alright. Jernivir. Welcome. Okay. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. I was not expecting for Trappist to be showing up that soon, and oh my god, and our spot martyr- <laughs> Both spot martyrs are literally rigging at this point. What in the holy moly? Come on. One of these spots have to, have to, at least have to have with Bonsley out here. Please. An Aaron? That's not that bad of a Pokemon in there. But you know what? I'm more happy about me grabbing myself a Trappist that's going to probably become a Flygon. But I think for right now, we're just going to go water gun this thing and just absolutely obliterate it from here. See you later, buddy. I'm sorry. Yeah. I love Agron, but I'm not going to use it now. That was also a fun Pokemon on the original series as well, too, but not going to even bother about it. And yeah, there was a lot of Pokemon that I used back in my original series of Pokemon XD, but yeah, Aaron was pretty fun. But there you go. Okay, come on. It has to be here. It possibly has to be here at this point. Oh, there's an extra Fanfy. <laughs> We're getting all the rare Pokemon right now. We just got ourselves a rare Trepage. We got ourselves with another uh, Fanfy out here. Again, we already have a... <laughs> Maybe I should go and probably do this. It will be the bigger brother versus the little brother. Let's do it. All right, Dauphin. Let's see what you can go and do out here. This is just a regular Fanfy that's at level 11. You should be able to knock it down, no problem. All right, let's set it up. Bye. There we go. Yep. And Chugga was the more victorious one out of this. But yeah, Dauphin looks like he, he, he's actually at his normal size. That looks fine. It's just that that crowbat was just massively huge. Jeez. Okay, well, anyways. So, we, since we just went and knocked out with Biden there. Uh, and right now, we're not really on the best of times right now at the moment. So, I think what we're going to do is let's just go and head back to the Snakeham hideout. Even though that the, uh, that the Pokemon uh, healing place is actually not all that too far away. So, we'll make sure to go and heal up beforehand. And, uh, I have to go and kind of see exactly where we got ourselves last left, well, the, where we got ourselves last left off. Wow, that was like a tongue twister and a half right there. Even also, too, again, this is like early in the morning, so try to, uh, try to even literally say anything out of my words for today is gonna probably be very tiring out here. But let's go and check around a little bit more. Because I'm pretty certain we checked out here, right? And I think this is where we last left off, was right down here, this way. So, I'm pretty sure that by now, we can go and head up those stairs, but something tells me that we may probably be running into maybe a main area down there, and I don't think we're going to have to go and worry about that just yet. Let's go and probably continue onwards our way to the top, I think, because that'll probably be the much uh, better idea out here, because uh, I think it would be this way. I know there was more Snaggle Grunts up around up here. So anyways, I think what we're going to do is just end off this episode for today. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And we'll continue with some more of our time with the more of the uh, Snaggle Hideout that's going on. And also stay tuned for the Dark Cloud 2 Let's Play. And of course, peace.